didn't taste like a jello. Well, you should always check the jar first. All right. I pulled the nasal hair, and the nose started to bleed for over three hours. Like they kill you. I know. I was. I didn't know if I was like losing all my blood or just some of it. You gotta stop that. You like pressure, a little pressure, yeah. a little ice sometimes. In the yeah, back I, of the neck. I tried that. Uh, I passed out. I'll call my mother because she has a bunch of other ones. Yeah, she's yeah. Nice. I used to get those bleeds. Hello, I'm Doctor Colin Truby, and I'm Doctor Patrick Stevens. We know there's all kind of walk-in clinics out there, but none like ours. That's for sure, Doctor Truby. Why don't you tell them why, Doctor Stevens? Well, for one thing. We take cash. Or if you prefer, why not bring in your old watches, bracelets, and rings, and we'll give you cash. Well, that certainly is different. We also accept any form of insurance claim. Any form. That's because there's a lot of legal loopholes. So we'll help find the cash for you, for us. Cash! And we're open late. So whether you sleepwalk into traffic, get shot at a party, or Mr. Willie ended up somewhere where he shouldn't have, we're here to help. That's because we each have apartments just upstairs. We're divorced and we can't afford a homes of our own. But with your ailments and our recently disbarred lawyer, we are crawling our way back into society in some recently renovated government housing. Oh, and hey, don't let that medical doctor sign fool you. <laughs> At med school, we took all kinds of classes, so we have many kinds of reasons to take money from you. Reasons like, Dentistry, wounded pets, plastic surgery, wine pairing, limb removal, limb replacement, mood disorders, fungal disorders, hair transplants, psychological listening, feng shui, marriage counseling, shoe tying, dietary management, surgery of almost any kind. And thanks to the internet, recently ordained Dr. Father Truby can even hear your confession. There'll be six Hail Marys and two Our Fathers. We pay the nurse on the way out. So whether you're sick in the head, body, or soul, We've got a scalpel for you. Doctors Truby and Stevens, make your appointment today. Well, they're supposed to be quite good doctors. Yeah. But they are. The, the TV said so. That's why I'm here. Oh. Well, I, I hope it's nothing too serious, darling. Eh? <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's... It's quite obvious why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> why are you here? Oh, come on now. Who's the dirty soccer mom? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes. Oh, oh, you put the eye in MILF. Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Okay, and if you'll just check your credit card for love language and thank you for calling. Oh, my. We are disgusting. Come on, it brings in extra rent, Colin. Rent's due in 10 days, alimony in four. Lease payments on the x-ray machine. Oh, they took the x-ray machine last night. Last night? Yeah, you were on that dog walking job. I didn't want you to break your stride. This is nuts. Our wives go gay. We end up divorced. They get the houses, the kids. My, my dog. dog. Your dog. My dog. Your dog. My dog. We ended up in this dump now? We're supposed to just adjust? Do you think uh, we'll turn gay for each other? What? No. No. You're a doctor. You know it doesn't work like that. It happened to our wives. It's not going to happen to us. You're way too tall for me. So you thought about it. I, no, I think thinking about it's not the same as thinking about think about it is not the same as actually. It's, no, it's a totally different, totally different thought. Totally different thought. Totally different thought. Totally different thought. You gotta focus, man. We're doctors. We're great doctors. We are well. We're good doctors. Oh, we're being honest. We're fair to middling at best, yeah. really. You know, but we're bigger than our problems. We are. They can take our cars, our fancy offices, our X-ray machines. Yeah, our heart monitors. They took the heart monitor? Uh, yeah, this morning. Oh, anything else? The scales. It's the scale. Take the scales. Yeah. Okay, you know, they can have all that. They can have that stuff. You know what they can't take? Our skill as doctors, as healers, as dog walkers and phone sex operators. That's ours. All right. Yeah. This will help some people. Absolutely. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay. <laughs>
Hello, Mr. Mac Davis. It's all right, doctor. I, I scream myself when it first happened, not like you, not like a girl, but I did scream. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I've had this gas for about six months, and I'm bloating. Well, you know, that's to be expected when you're expecting. Expecting? Well, that explains a lot. <clears throat> Your chart says that you're not married. Do you know who the father is? No, who? Would you say that you're sexually active? No, I usually just lie there, because I've been tired a lot lately. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're tired. Would you say that you've been bedridden? Oh, I have been, but we've done it on the couch, too. Yeah, okay, all right. Mammy! All right, all right, okay. Oh. You know what? I'm going to get Nurse Board Silly to set up a room. I think you're going to have this baby right now. No, no, I have Pilates in an hour. Well, you may have been They do not refund! So I said to the hoodlum, a real man wouldn't need a knife. And then he stuck it in my head. You misread that one. Completely. Completely. <laughs> uh, if you could just look that way, please. <laughs> what are you doing now, Doctor? I'm taking an x-ray. Oh, x-ray. Yes, I believe this knife in my head is a message from the Lord. And they stuck it in my face so I wouldn't miss it. Well, what was the message? I don't know. It hurts too much to think about. <sighs> This has to come out. No, no, no! Don't touch it! Please don't touch the message of the Lord! Please don't! It really, really hurts when anyone touches the message of the Lord. <laughs> I was just kind of hoping you might give me something for the headache. Headache? You have a knife sticking out of your head. Well, you're the one that went to school. I'm going to freeze your head and pull out the knife. No, you're not. No, no! Don't you do that! Don't you! A real man would need a needle. You look, what, you, no, what, what? Cynthia? Oh, the baby fell out. Fell out? Yeah, I was doing some deep knee bends and then he just came out. His feet touched the ground and I thought if he okay, runs, okay, I don't no, know no, what no, I'm he won't do. run, he won't run. We're good. You're, are you all right? I am fine, but you should check out the baby. He has been crying. No. <laughs> Come on then, boyo! You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Eh? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I see. I said you were a good doctor. What? What's going on? The good news is, I got the knife out of his head. Oh. The bad news is, he just fell on it. It's in his chest. We double bill him. Catching! Ka Push the G-Sleep right in front. We think hemorrhoids. This thing is puckered. It's puckered, isn't it? Hello? Hello? 